Tehran while Muslim protests raging on there in the Middle East and beyond. Yeah, and this morning, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is talking about nukes. And we're now seeing a major difference on where Iran's capabilities stand. Listen to this. The issue is how to prevent Iran from uh, completing its uh, nuclear weapons program. They're moving very rapidly to completing uh, the enrichment of the uranium that they need to produce a nuclear bomb. In six months or so, they'll be 90% of the way there. I think it's important to place a red line before Iran. This is a country that uh, talks about, uh, denies the Holocaust, promises to wipe out Israel, is engaged in terror throughout the world. And it's like Timothy McVeigh uh, walking into a, uh, you know, into a shop in Oklahoma City and saying, I'd like to tend my garden. Uh, I'd like to buy some fertilizer. How much do you want? Oh, I don't know, 20,000 pounds. Uh, come on, we know that they're working towards a, a, a weapon. Hmm. Well, just last week, U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta said that Iran's nuclear threat is not as imminent. Here's his exact quote. It's roughly about a year right now, a little more than a year. And so we think that we will have the opportunity once we know that they have made that decision to take action necessary to stop Iran. Well, more than the timeline, Congressman Alan West says the clear lack of a defense of our allies is what has Israel so concerned. Listen to what he says. This can be an incredible Jimmy Carter moment for President Obama, especially when you go back and look at what he said back in 2009 at the University of Cairo. We have consistently showed a policy of appeasement. We have not stood up and had a very clear and defined Middle East policy. We have emboldened our uh, enemies and really confused our allies. And you saw the reaction today from Prime Minister Netanyahu. All right. More on that later. Now